boys and girls. It's Miss Beth. <gasps> and look who else showed up. Hello, Ella. Good morning to you. Are you here to listen to the story too? The story that I'm going to read to those kids? Oh, you're always right at my feet listening and making sure that I am doing a good job reading the best stories to you out there. All right. Yay. Aw. Okay. Today's story. Oh, thank you. Today's story is going to be called Otto the Book Bear. And this is written by Katie Clemenson and the publisher is Disney, a Hyperon Books, New York. All right, now this is called a fiction book. And a fiction book is different than a nonfiction book. A nonfiction book, if you remember, is true. A fiction book is a totally pretend story. That's right, Ella, it's a totally pretend story. There is no way this is real. This is somebody's imagination, which always is great fun to read. All right, Otto the Book Bear. Once upon a time, Otto was a book bear. He lived in a book on a shelf in a house, and he was at his happiest when children read his book. But Otto also had a special secret. When no one was looking, he came to life. Once upon a time, and there he's walking off the page. Otto loved to explore the house, to read his favorite stories and practice his writing. But one day something terrible happened and Otto was left behind. Oh no, poor Otto. Hello, Ella. Otto didn't like being all alone, so he made a plan, packed a bag, and set off on a new adventure. Okay, Ella, you're gonna have to lay down, baby because I'm reading to the kids at the moment. Good girl, lay down. All right, here's his new adventure. But the world outside made Otto feel very small. Nobody seemed to notice him. Do you see Otto? Can you find him on the page? That's right, he's right here. And he is very small, isn't he? Otto began to search the city, hoping to find a new place to live, but nowhere he went felt like home. It was too busy, too wet, too cold, too smoky, too high, too windy, and too unwelcoming. Otto didn't like living in the city and he missed his warm book. He was starting to feel downhearted, but he decided to pick up his bag and keep on walking. And just when he thought he couldn't walk any further, when he felt cold and tired, Otto saw a place full of light and hope. He went inside and found rows and rows of books. Otto began to climb and there at the end of the shelf, he saw something. Could it be? Book 
bear. The other bear shook Otto's paw and said, I'm Ernest, how do you do? Otto's new friend showed him all around the library and he discovered it was full of book creatures just like him. See those book creatures? You may know what those are. Those are some famous book creatures. Oh, books are wonderful. Together with Ernest, he could once again read his favorite stories, practice his writing, and try out all kinds of exciting things. And the best was Look at how much fun they're having reading their stories. I love this book. And the best was, now Otto had lots of readers and that made him the happiest book bear of all. And they lived happily ever after. So this is what I'm doing to you. I'm reading you a book just like the one the book bear is in. And that is the end. Oh, look at the two friends, side by side, snuggled up together. And now that is the end of Otto the book bear. Oh, I loved that one. That was a good one. Cause I love, love, love the library. And I cannot wait, wait, wait until you all are welcome back in and this whole COVID is over with. Um, remember that if you like these books that I read, you can always go online or have mom and dad go online and do curbside pickup because we're doing curbside pickup where you can order the books. We'll pick them up. Um, we'll pick them off the shelf for you and then get them ready and put them in your car. Okay, so that is always something that you can do. So make sure you tell mom and dad. All right, I am Miss Beth. I hope you have an absolutely wonderful, wonderful, fantastical day. And I can't wait to read to you next time. Have a great day.